Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Belvis. We are breaking our fast this morning by reading and reflecting upon the word of God. And today's scripture is found in Psalm 27, uh, verse 4, and it reads, I have asked one thing from the Lord. It is what I desire to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, gazing on the beauty of the Lord and seeking him in his temple. I've read Psalm 27 and uh, four. Um, and just as a quick reflection, um, this, 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 this verse of scripture just reminds me of how the psalmist was, had a desire to be in the presence of God. He had a, a, a longing, a, um, a, uh, he wanted to pursue being in the presence of God and it, it, it satisfied him in some type of way. Um, and that is what he wanted more than anything. He said, all the days of my life, he said to dwell in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life, gazing, just looking up on and concentrating and putting your focus and all of yourself and your energy on the beauty of the Lord. And then not only only that seeking him, seeking him, that means pursuing him, going after him. I know a lot of times we, we, we want to pursue our dreams. We want to pursue those, those goals. We want to pursue even uh, a particular relationship or person. Uh, we want to go after those things. We seek after those things. We seek after knowledge. We seek after all these things, but here the psalmist said he's see, he's seeking after God. He seeks after Him. He desires to be in the presence of God. And the question on the table today is: Do you desire to be in the God's presence? Um, because everything we need is found in His presence. In His presence. Uh, there is joy in his presence. There is peace in his presence. There is understanding and knowledge, even in his word. To be in his word is to be listening to what he has to say to us. And so um, here the psalmist just said he desires. It is that, 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 um, that, it being in the presence of God and having that relationship and having that uh, uh, intimacy with him that brings satisfaction to our lives that brings satisfaction to the psalmist and and um, we we can take that and apply that to our own lives because it is uh, all found in God. And so when we seek to have that relationship and that intimate relationship with him and that time in his presence to listen, to 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 see what he wants to say to us, to follow uh, uh, his word and to to be led and guided by him, we will find great joy. We will find uh, we he, he will lead us in great ways that we don't even even expect and we don't even know how we came about. So um, I, I just love and I just love the beauty of this scripture and just desiring to be in the presence of God. So the question on the table again is, are you desiring to be in the presence of God? And if you desire it, what are you doing about it? Are you seeking his presence? Are you in constant prayer. Uh, I encourage you to pray. I encourage you to continue to break the fast and not only just break the fast, but go deeper, go deeper in his word and see what he has to say to you for your journey, because he has a journey for each of us. Uh, um, he gifted us. He has gifted us to do a work for him here on this earth to glorify him. So um, we have broken our fast this morning by reading and reflecting upon the word of God. I pray you've been encouraged to spend time with the Lord, get in his presence and, and let it bring you great joy. Let it bring you great peace uh, because it's found in him. So uh, be blessed. And I thank you for joining me this morning. Be blessed today. Remember to love like God loves you. Remember you are special no matter what you are going through and no matter what you have been through. Be blessed and I will see you on the next episode.